hoy bloody hoy camperinos we've been doing some some deborking of rovers and if you watch my video you'll find out why there is seven liters of gearbox oil seven liters of gearbox oil in my garage but anyway that's about that we have radiator version two is being extracted for radiator version three so essentially i'm going up the the radiator steps i started with the slim shitty one I've now then progressed to a cheap wide one. I'm now progressing to a expensive wide one with twin fans and a much wider core. The only upgrade from there is a really big, fat, big bastard with a header tank. Um, this was 450 quid, all in, delivered with the fans and everything. The other one starts at 450 and you need the swell pop header tank thing that goes on the top hose which is another 200 odd quid so um yeah we this this does 99 well 95 percent of its job brilliantly it just struggles on really hot days um yeah if the temperature's below 25 you're basically not going to have a problem unless you're on track so yeah, I'm taking, putting that in, and then pretty much apart from, apparently there's some diff output shaft things I need to do, but that should really finish it off as far as upgrades go. It will just be tidying the wiring over winter, eliminating oil leaks. Um, I'm sure I've said all this before. So yeah, just gonna let it cool down a bit. Then I'll drain the coolant out and um, the new radiator, I mean, it's not really, it's held in with two hoses and four bolts. I bought I bought some windscreen stuff as well. Coolant, because I'm lazy and I like to buy, I couldn't find any deionized water. And I've also got some really pikey exhaust repair bits because my exhaust still blows at the join of the Y pipe because it was a little bit split. So yeah, I'll just tidy that up. But um, yeah, then it's off to Cadwell Park tomorrow, not for track day, torch the super bikes. And then it is off to Cadwell Park on the 6th to do a track day. All right, so while the um, car's cooling down so I can get the radiator out, I've got to do the wiring. So, um, let's come off. So I'm gonna wire these into the same uh, relay because these are, they're about seven amps. So 80 divided by 12 equals 6.6 .6 or something. And my relay is 20 amps, so that would be fine. Um, so I'm presuming the black ones will go to a common earth, which I think I need a 18 gauge, and this is like 12 or 14 gauge or something. So that would be plenty fine enough. I'll, I'll wire that in then, that will go to the chassis ground. And then these will go to the um, up to the fan switch, I believe. So yeah, shouldn't be shouldn't be too much of a problem either way. But I'll get those wired in. Right, so there's the radiator side of the wiring done. I've um, joined or well, spliced the two earths together. It's a nice thick cable. I won't cut that end until I've got it in the car and then just joined into the original one up to here. I know it doesn't look particularly pretty, but it's not gonna be forever because over the winter, I will get the fans controlled by the ECU like they're meant to be. So that will that will go. But um, yeah, hopefully it's cooled down now and we get it out and get this bad boy in. And there it is, all in. I think going without a bit of a struggle and I, I need to enlarge this opening here to get the fourth bolt in but it's it's plenty solid enough this hose I might need to trim down but I don't know I don't know I think it'll be okay um so yeah chuck a load of coolant in it now give it a whirl sorry my filming went uh, went to shite but it's in it's all working um it's all bled up nicely um put some new race tape on 
got to put the ducting down there. I haven't done that yet, but yeah, it's filthy, but it's all ready for a trip up to Cadwell tomorrow. So, uh, so yeah, nice little short one this, so over and out. The most satisfying thing about filling up. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Ah, won't stop at zero. Okay. Haha. -ha. So you're going to love this in the next episode. Wondering why the car's been overheating with the new radiator. As you can see, we've got fans in one fucking way round. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, look at that. Rag sticks to the rads, put it on this side, it's blown away. It's been overheating all the way to Cadwell Park. I've been wondering what the fuck's going on. Fans going wrong, bloody way. Look, you can see it when they slow down. Oh my god. What an idiot I am. Well, we made it home. Um, I just unplugged the fans and didn't slow <laughs> didn't slow down too much, and it was fine. But oil leak central. Um, this hasn't been that bad for a long while. I'm wondering if this one's always been a bit dodgy. I'm wondering if it's all coming out of there. It's all down on the fucking alternator too. Um, Hmm, bugger. Yeah, these have got new sellout washers in. That one looks a bit loose, doesn't it? But I've always been told don't over tighten the bloody things. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to rewire this. It'll be fairly simple. It's, I'll just intercept the earth and swap them over, but I couldn't do it at Cadwell. So, hopefully, disaster avoided. Right, so we're the next day and my lovely Cable tied jobby, it's got to be undone so I can get onto the cables and swap them over. Um, I do need to put a uh, grommet in there, which I don't have. Do I? No, I've got blanking plugs, but no actual grommets, so I'm gonna have to order some. Um, so yeah, got to think of the best way of reversing this polarity. I can probably just put a spade connector on there to the earth and then swap the earth up to there it won't look pretty but it will work and remember this is all going to go anyway soon because i will run this i'll get rid of this and run it off the ecu when i tidy up that wiring all right pretty it is not i just cut the earth cable and put it onto the fan switch and then intercepted the power switch and just made a link for the earth and I've just got some heat shrink 
that once I've tested it, so I will test it this time, I'll just cover it up so I don't get any shorts. Um, and yeah, I'll probably just leave it like that because I can't be asked to make it tidy. And like I say, I'm going to revisit it. So I'll test this now. Um, I'll just bring, bridge these two together and that should provide the power. But I was thinking last night, the leaks I had from the cam cover, yes, one of these may have failed and started leaking, but for all of them to start, makes me think that there may be a problem with my breather and I'm getting excess crank pressure. So I'm probably gonna whip one of these off and leave it free because it's just too much of a coincidence. You know, loads of oil leaks, new breather system. There's probably a link somewhere. And uh, I did actually have an interesting comment from a pal on one of my Facebook groups asking me if I did this for the views. Um, no, sadly, I didn't do it for the views. I genuinely, I did, when I was fitting this, I did think, should I test it? I thought, no, blues, of course, can be power and black's going to be earth. I mean, why would it not, why would it be any other way around? And yeah, I was racking my brains all the way to Cadwell thinking, have I got an airlock? What's gone wrong? Is my water pump failing? But no, it was just a genuine, a genuine error. And I have this channel mainly for my own amusement and enjoyment. It keeps me honest, keeps me going. If I get a few views, great. But do I give a fuck? Not really, no. Um, as long as someone watches it. You know, what did I say before? 10 views a video. I think 10 views is my kind of, as long as it gets to 10, I'll do another one. But yeah, genuine error. So, you know, if, if one person watches this and go, fuck, you know what? and it sticks in the back of their mind to check, then fair enough, I've done my job. But um, we're gonna test these now, so I should just be able to turn the ignition. Oh, fucking no key, hang on. Right. Key procured, and I'm fairly sure I can just join these two together, and then we should, that should bring power to the Yes, we have power and we have a lovely stiff breeze going through the radiator. Yay. Yay for my brain. Right, so that should be job done. Um, and what am I going to do about this? I don't know, I may just take I may just take that out and see if that makes any difference. And my new needles still haven't fucking arrived. Thank you, Royal Mail, you cunts. Um, so I can't do anything with the carbs. Um, but other than that, if that works, the, the car's pretty much done. Um, so yeah, I suppose you'll be subjected to more Rover updates, which will make everyone happy. Anyway, sayonara, good day, toodaloo.